Hello! Yes, you can. You can use hot glue for making push molds just like you would blue stuff or Oyumaru or rapid mold or thermoplastic. Just throw the hot glue sticks into hot water for a bit, slap it onto whatever you want, let it cool, fill it with green stuff or clay or plaster or a low temperature resin and bam. And you can even sort of do two part molds with a bit of finesse as well. Um, I really love thermoplastic. I use it all the time. I use it so much that I've bought like $60 worth of the real stuff like a sucker so I can make really big molds like for rocks and uh, cat heads and stuff. But when everyone was asking where to buy it after my castle build, I got flashbacks to being a kid, seeing someone using Oyumaru on the mini wargaming forums, and I thought, that just looks like hot glue. And I tried it, and uh, it worked. And then I spent the rest of the weekend making bootleg copies of giant spiders for my Lord of the Rings army. True story. But a few years later, I couldn't get the hot glue trick to work anymore. But I found out it was because the weird dollar store packs of like $1,000 for $2 that come with like a free hot glue gun, um, it had too high of a melting point so it didn't work in the same way. Well, today I was perusing the place where craft dreams go to die, spotlight, and I found that they sell a clearly labeled low temperature hot glue stick, and they work just like how I remember. So if you want some cheap thermoplastic to make molds from, check your crafting drawers and toolboxes and see if the hot glue sticks that you have work. If not, go out and see if you can locate some low temperature temperature hot glue sticks and maybe they'll work. I mean maybe they won't but you know um I, I don't know I can't help you with that. Now here's a little disclaimer it's not a perfect one for one replacement for the commercial thermoplastic like I'm used to using. These hot glue sticks do seem to cool down a little bit faster and I think they have a slightly higher melting point so it can take a little bit of practice to avoid getting lines in your push molds but with a little bit of practice you'll work it out but if you are really struggling try heating it up in boiling water over the stove first rather than just boiling water with your kettle and transferring that into a bowl because you lose a lot of heat that way. And that way you can get like a nice smooth shape first off before you press it into your mold without losing any heat. Now, before you ask, no, you can't just cover your pieces in hot glue from the gun. The reason why the hot water method works is because the outside of the melted plastic forms a skin as it cools down so it doesn't stick to what you're casting. I hope that helps. Uh, good luck, I hope you find something that works for you and then you can make massive push molds like me. So uh, go have fun and I'll see you in a bit and uh, let me know if it works. Okay, bye.